it's Katie. I hope you guys are doing well. I am still social distancing and I really wanna make some sourdough bread, but I'm not really an expert. My friend Marissa is. So I thought we could try to virtually bake together and she can teach us her beginner sourdough bread recipe. I'm gonna give her a call right now and we'll see how it goes. Plus I desperately, I miss people. I miss hanging out with other people. <laughs> Hey! Hi, Katie! How are you? I'm good! So I guess you're just gonna like walk us through this virtually. Of course, I'm ready. Can you just tell us what tools we need to get started? Yeah, everything can be like modified depending on what you have in your kitchen. So don't be scared off. I'm gonna make it in a glass bowl today. If you have a, a medium-sized plastic lidded container, that also works really well too to keep the heat in. I also have on hand a bench scraper, a rubber spatula, a food scale. If you don't have a food scale, get some measuring cups and spoons out, a sharp paring knife, or a bread long, the proofing basket. If you don't have a bread proofing basket, you can take a medium sized bowl and line it with a cotton towel. For baking, you need a Dutch oven with a lid. If you don't have any of those, you could bake in an open cast iron pan, a combo cooker, or a loaf pan. Okay, I am gonna go grab all my stuff and I will we'll be, I'll meet you back here. I, I'm excited, I'm excited. All right, we're back. I'm here with Marissa over here, hello. So the first thing you wanna do is put your bowl on a food scale if you have one and tear it, which means you're setting the scale to zero. First step, we're gonna get warm water and measure 400 grams into the bowl. We're doing it at the same time, it's so fun. It's like we're hanging out. Oh. The next step is adding your mature starter to the water. I have fed this last night, right before going to bed, and now we're baking right in the morning, so it's been about eight hours. I also have my own starter that I just made last week with Marissa's help. You guys can check out that video if you wanna make a starter from scratch. And this acts as like the leaven for the bread, like yeah, the yeast. naturally leavened bread. Okay, so the next step is to add your mature active starter to the water. We're gonna do 100 grams. 100 grams, baby. So now we can use our spatula to dissolve the starter. Boom, done. So next step is that we're gonna add 400 grams of bread flour and 100 grams of whole wheat flour. Great, so then are you gonna use a spatula to mix this up or how do you do it? It's kind of fun to get in there with your hands so you can feel what the dough feels like. Right, should we go wash our hands really fast? Yeah. All right. And right there, do me. And you, have, you just start mixing it like your hands with a spoon. Exactly. We don't need to mix this for a very long time. We just wanna make sure there are no dry spots. And I'm just like squishing it through my fingers to get rid of the clumps. I don't need any clumps, so I'm gonna take my spatula and I'm gonna wipe my hand off. Did you scrape the sides of the bowl with the spatula? Yeah. Okay. It, it does a better job. Than your hand? Yeah. Yeah. Do you approve? That looks great. Yay! Cover it with a clean kitchen towel. Perfect. Set it in a warm spot, and then I'm gonna set a 60 minute timer. I, I missed you so much. Uh, my dough looks pretty well rested. Ooh. Um, a little more relaxed on top, but other than that, it doesn't look too much better. So the next step is to add the salt and a little bit more water so we can get that salt incorporated. My hands are clean and I'm gonna dip it in. I'm not being too tender about this. Like I'm like really like squishing the dough through my fingers, breaking it up try to get the salt in every part of the dough. How do you know when you think you've incorporated this enough? I can't feel any salt granules on my hands. Now we're gonna move on to the stretch and pull. So I'm gonna dip my hand in the water. I'm going to stretch my dough up. Okay. And pull it towards the center. And then I'm gonna rotate the bowl. I'm gonna do that eight times. Whoa, stretch right. And pull. I don't wanna stretch so much that I rip it. This is gonna help build like that tension and help it like puff up. Totally right, it'll help it hold its shape a little bit more. So the last thing we do after I did the eighth fold, I'm gonna wipe both my hands. I'm going to pick the dough up, which is a little scary, and I'm just gonna turn it over. And then I like tuck the edges under, clean down the edges of the bowl. Take the clean kitchen towel, cover it up, put it in a warm spot, and set a 60 minute timer again.
got through those folds. How does yours look? Mine looks good. It's looking great. It's been resting for the last hour. You can see these air bubbles here. I think we're ready to do the pre-shape. Great. Nearby, I'm gonna have some flour and a bench scraper. And if bench. you don't have a bench scraper, we'll just use our hands. Now we're just gonna dip our hands in the water one last time. Pick the dough up a little bit and kind of fold it under itself and turn it slightly, fold it under. I'm folding it under just by picking it up and letting gravity do, do the work. work. It's like folding it under itself. And I'm only gonna do that like max six to seven times. Try to grab it as a ball and set it right on my table. So I'm gonna take a light sprinkling over the top of my dough. I'm not looking to, to totally coat it. It's just a light sprinkling. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna scoop it under the dough and then drag the dough towards myself. And then I'm gonna kind of repeat that process again and it'll help fold the dough under and make a ball. So scoop under and drag towards yourself. Nice! So maybe when you're coming towards yourself. Yeah. So, so scoop it towards yourself and then the front part of it, you kind of want to stay put. You're not just trying to move it. It's like the front is staying and you're moving the back towards it. Like that? Yeah, do you, do you feel that? Like you could use your yeah. front. Yeah, then I'm like stopping. Your, your left hand to like let it build, build the dough towards yourself. Yeah. Does that help at all? Totally. It's, it's getting pretty tense now. Once it's tense and like pretty round, leave that be because okay. it can rip on the top. I'm going to sprinkle. Okay, more flour. Cover with my toe, let it rest. All this thing does is rest and we do all the work. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we're gonna leave this 30 to 40 minutes okay. until it has relaxed and flattened out. Okay, it's been about 40 minutes. Let's take a little peek. So the dough is relaxed a little bit and we're gonna put it into its final shape. Before we start touching the dough, we wanna be prepared with our proofing basket. Which I have one of those guys. I have one of these as well. It has a little liner. Sprinkle that lightly with flour. If you don't have a proofing basket, you can use a glass bowl that's medium sized lined with a cotton towel. Make sure it's not a towel with like terry cloth or it'll get stuck in the dough. So now, light sprinkling. Right on top of the dough? Yep. Scrape under it and flip it over. All right, here we go. Whoa, okay. Let's think of this as a clock. Yes. I'm gonna bring the 12 o'clock side and the six o'clock side to the middle. Okay. And then I'll bring the three o'clock side and the nine o'clock side to the middle. Kind of like we're wrapping up present almost. Cute. 12 o'clock. And I'm not stretching too much, but I'm gonna lightly overlap. Okay. Oh, it is like a present. Three o'clock, two corners. Yeah. We'll bring those in and I'll kind of like pat them down so they're sealed. Okay. Those two, mm -hmm. I'll bring in. I'm gonna scoop it up carefully and place it in. Pinch these seams closed to make sure it's sealed. That looks fabulous, Katie. Does it? Yeah, it's kind of like we're in the same kitchen making the same bread. I could almost cry at the thought of being in the same kitchen. Lightly cover it with your towel again. Okay. You don't want the towel to be touching the dough. You're just, you're just doing this so it doesn't get too much of a skin on it. Okay, so we're done. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. You're gonna put it in your fridge. We will be back tomorrow to bake this. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, bye. It's time to prep our bread. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna take my parchment paper. And then I'm gonna flip it. Yep, just, just one swift movement right onto the table. Confidence. Oh yeah, I think. Okay. Okay, these looked better. So I'm gonna take my hot combo cooker bottom out and put it on this cooling rack, and then I'm gonna dump my dough and we'll quickly score. So I'm gonna use a bread log, okay. which is basically a razor blade on a stick. Terrifying. I'm gonna use a parry knife. Nice, okay, I'm gonna flip mine. Yours is gonna perfectly flip out and mine's not. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna cut a square, like kind of a tic-tac-toe board. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. 
Okay, yours, <laughs> yours is a lot, has a lot more tension than mine for some reason. Since mine's already cooking, I'm gonna put it back in the oven. Oh, nice! It's flat. Well, okay. that's okay. I mean, you can't do anything about that now. Okay. Get it in the oven. I, okay, so I don't have a cooling rack. So I found, I took this out of a mini toaster that I have. A mini Looks toaster. Like a cooling rack to me. Thank you. It works. It's gonna work. Oh, 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 it's a beautiful loaf of bread. I think it might be the most pretty one I've ever made because I made it with you. I'm gonna check mine out. Okay, go get your bread. This is the most exciting part. Here's my toasty loaf. <gasps> okay, your scoring is so much better. To make sure it's done, I'm gonna like tap it and look for like a hollow sound on the bottom. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. It's like really tempting to cut into it, but if you try to cut into it now, you're gonna kind of like squish it. It's better to let it cool a little bit, at least. It's the final moment, Marissa. I've been waiting for this. Okay. Triumphant music, cue it now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh. I did bad. Oh, I can't get through it. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, that was a journey. Let's reveal. Looks good, look at that fermentation. Ooh, look at everyone. Mmm, that is excellent. So it's soft and squishy on the inside, but it has like a nice crust. If I can make this, you guys can definitely make it. Follow Marissa's amazing recipe. It's super easy and delicious, most importantly. Follow her on Instagram for much more bread content. And I don't know, Marissa, how should we sign off? Love her now. Ooh, buns, baby. <laughs>